Okay, wow, this actually is insane. This honestly is one of the best ways to use this AI on YouTube. You gotta just press record. This is ChatGPT, the free artificial intelligence program that everyone has been talking about. But if you're like me, you're probably a little bit confused on how it even works and how it's different than something like Google or Siri. So let's ask ChatGPT to explain what it is in simple terms. ChatGPT is a variant of the GPT language model that has been fine tuned for chat. This is still super confusing, so let me try this. ChatGPT is a computer program that can have a conversation with you. It can understand what you say and respond with words that make sense. It does this by learning from lots of examples of real conversations and then using that learning to have a conversation with you. It's like having a very smart friend who can talk about lots of different things. So basically this AI is like my super smart best friend that I can ask anything to and it's gonna give me the right answer, right? The problem that I have is wondering if I can actually trust the answers that it's going to give me. Okay, ChatGPT says, as an AI language model, I was designed to be able to read and understand text written in a variety of different styles and formats. I was then trained on a very large data set of text, which includes books, articles, and websites. This training process allowed me to learn about many different topics and to understand how to generate text that is appropriate for a wide range of purposes. So what it's saying is that it reads and understands text, and this could be from books, articles, websites online, and I even asked it if it could learn from YouTube videos and it can by reading through its transcription or captions. So remember how it said it was like a smart friend that you can ask questions to? Well, it's more like a smart friend that reads and analyzes everything and then never forgets anything it's learned. And then as it continues studying and finding new information, it updates its learnings to become smarter and smarter and smarter and smarter. So here's how this is really, really different. When you ask Google or Siri a question, typically it is going to send you to a blog post or maybe even a video, or if it's a simple ask, like what is the weather like outside, it can give you an answer. But with ChatGPT, it's actually very different. Instead of sending you one blog or one video to answer your question, it actually just goes online, it learns everything, and then it tries to give you the most accurate answer. So basically this AI has learned everything there is about YouTube that's written online or in YouTube videos and then it's gonna be able to give you the best tips and secrets in order for us to get more views and more subscribers on YouTube. So it really just comes down to asking it the right questions. Now, is this AI going to give us perfectly correct answers all the time? No, it's not. Because at the end of the day, your personal experiences with your personal YouTube channel is going to matter a lot. And you wanna take that into consideration when you are learning about YouTube and the algorithm and how it works and affects your videos. However, and this is a big, However, here, if you are someone who does not have a lot of experience and you're going to go online anyways to learn about the YouTube algorithm and how to get views and subscribers, you might as well use ChatGPT and save yourself so much time, which is exactly what we're going to do right now. But first, if you're looking to start or grow your YouTube channel, you definitely want to check out this free challenge that we are doing. It is five days long. There's going to be a ton of cool content. Click the link in the description to get signed up. Okay, back to the video. So let's go ahead and start with explaining the YouTube algorithm. Okay, wow, this actually is insane. So it's saying that the YouTube algorithm is a machine learning system that helps to recommend videos to users. And it takes into account a variety of factors to determine what users might be interested in watching. And here are those factors. First of all, it's talking about the user's watch history. And we know this to be true based on what we've learned from some of the people behind the YouTube algorithm and what they've shared with us. But it also talks about the user's search history, the user's likes and dislikes. So whether they're liking videos or disliking videos, this can help the algorithm, I guess, send them more videos that they like. Also the user's subscriptions and the user's demographics. Overall, this is pretty solid information that it is telling us about the algorithm. And as far as I know, all this stuff is true from what I've learned online. However, there is one major thing that is missing in this. And really that's the importance of click-through rate and average view duration. Now, the reason I know that these two things are super, super important for recommending videos to users on YouTube is because of this study right here. Charles actually analyzed over 31,000 YouTube video analysts 
analytics and he uncovered the best predictor of views. And really that's what we're trying to figure out is what is gonna cause our videos to get more views on YouTube. And the number one thing that he talks about in this Twitter thread is that the average view duration multiplied by the click through rate is by far the top predictor of views. To make this simple, what he is saying is that the longer someone watches your video and the more time someone clicks on your video when YouTube shows it to them, this means that YouTube is going to push it out to even more and more people and ultimately it's the number one predictor of getting you the most views on YouTube. Now because we know this, let's ask the AI if they can give us some tips on how to increase our click through rate on YouTube because ultimately that's going to help us get more views. I'm really interested to see what it's going to say on this one. So the number one thing it's saying is to use an eye-catching thumbnail and the thumbnail is the first thing that users see when they come across your video so it's important to choose an image that will grab their attention. Yes, I guess that is true to help get your click-through rate up and also to write an engaging title. Um, that's also very true because these are some of the most deciding factors when someone actually clicks on your video, they're seeing your thumbnail. They're also gonna see your title right away. Here's where it starts to get a bit off and where I would tell people to be very cautious when just using AI for all of your kind of YouTube education because it's talking about using tags and using annotations and promoting your videos. And at this point, it's really just giving advice on like how to get more views on YouTube. YouTube, which isn't really what we're asking. We're asking how to increase the click-through rate on our YouTube videos. And so this is somewhere where there's some limitations with this AI. So we know thumbnails is a big part to that click-through rate, but we also know that titles play a huge role in this as well. So let's ask the AI if it can help us write some better YouTube titles, maybe give us some advice to get started. So it gave us six tips, and the first one is to keep it short and sweet. And this is pretty cool that it's telling you to keep it no longer than 70 characters, as this will ensure that it's fully visible in search results. And then it's talking about using keywords, which is saying that it is going to help YouTube understand the content and help you rank for those keywords in the YouTube search results. Now, these are some pretty good tips to help you write better YouTube video titles, but actually you can come up with video titles too just by using this AI. So I'm gonna ask it first in YouTube video titles in the fitness niche, and ultimately this is gonna give me some good title ideas, but also some good video ideas that I could make if I had a fitness channel. So here it's already giving me some YouTube video titles. For example, 10 minute full body workout. We have 30 day ab challenge results, the best exercises for a strong toned upper body, and the list just goes on. This honestly is one of the best ways to use this AI is to come up with video ideas and to come up with video titles. And what I love is that it's using real data online. So these video ideas probably do get a lot of views or have gotten a lot of views on YouTube in the past. And that's a really good thing because if you make a video like this, you know there's gonna be some interest in it, which is gonna help you actually get more views through a higher click-through rate on YouTube. But let's challenge the AI just a little bit. I'm gonna ask if it can give me some ideas on how to make money on YouTube, and let's just see what it says. Okay, so it gave me five different ways to make money on YouTube. The first one is to just monetize your videos through the YouTube Partner Program. This is AdSense. This is kind of what a lot of people know. And so that's one way. The second way is to sell products or services, or you can become an affiliate marketer. You could seek sponsorships or partnerships, and you could offer paid content or memberships. Honestly, these are some great ideas. And the really cool thing about this AI is that I could ask it to give me more information, say on number Number five, and it could give me an actual game plan on how to come up with a membership. So I'm gonna ask it to expand on number five and give me some ideas to offer inside of my membership and let's see if it can do that. And now it's giving me some ideas like offering early access to my videos, also behind the scenes content, some live streams that I could do for the members, extra video content, a private community, personalized feedback, and then merchandise discounts. These are all really good ideas. And the fact that it just gave me those ideas on the spot, I didn't have to go watch a YouTube video or read a blog post on these ideas. This is pretty cool how fast it gives me this information. All right, my next question is what's the best posting schedule for YouTube? 
Now this is a pretty cool answer because this is something that I would probably tell a friend if they were to ask me this. I wouldn't tell them, you know, one a week or two a week. I actually would want to get a little bit more context from them. And that's kind of what this AI is trying to do with me. It's telling me that there's no best posting schedule, but rather it gives me some guidelines to consider. Ultimately, the best posting schedule for your YouTube channel will be one that allows you to consistently produce high quality content that your audience enjoys and engages engages with. And honestly, that is what I would tell someone is that right there. So this is a cool answer. I like how it didn't just give me, you know, once a week or twice a week or every single day, because that's not the case for everybody. And the fact that this AI somehow knows that through all the research that it's done kind of blows my mind. Now I'm going to ask how I can get subs on YouTube as fast as possible. And uh, it looks like it's going to give me a few strategies to get subscribers. The first one it's saying is to create high quality, engaging content. I agree. That's a great way to do that. The second one is to use tags and titles. So using relevant tags and catchy titles to help your videos show up in search results. So that's a great tip as well. And I love the little disclaimer at the end. It says, however, it is important to be patient and consistent as building a subscriber base on YouTube can take time. Now, though AI can save you tons of time when it comes to learning about YouTube and also helping you come up with video ideas and video titles, you still need that human touch and human accountability and coaching. And that's why we are doing a free one week YouTube YouTube challenge that you can be a part of. So if you're looking to grow your YouTube channel this year or make money with your YouTube channel, you definitely want to check this out. It's completely free. There's a link in the description or you can go to tube1kchallenge.com and join us over there. And lastly, I'm going to ask, what is the number one secret to getting views on YouTube? Let's see what the AI has to say. Sadly, it's not gonna give us the one secret, and that is the truth. There is no one secret to getting views on YouTube, but there is a formula that we use called the perfect video recipe, and this is the same exact formula that I use to grow my brand new YouTube channel from zero subscribers to a thousand subscribers in just nine days. So if you really wanna learn how to get views, then click on the screen and watch the entire video. I break everything down, and this is exactly what I did to grow my YouTube channel, and this is how you can grow your YouTube channel as well.